Hey, Rislim here. Gonna show you how to use PoE Add-on Launcher 2 real fast. So, first things first, go to my repository on GitHub, PoE Add-on Launcher slash PAL2. Then you go over to releases, look for the latest release, which is 1.0.1. Download the zip file. Save it. Uh, yeah, here's fine. It probably won't interfere with anything. After it's saved, move it to a folder of your choice, like so. Unzip it, extract here. There it is, now you can delete the zip file. All you have to do now is run the exe. And there you go, because this is our, this is our first launch, we will have to configure this. Temp downloads, add-ons, you can set your bot of Excel game folder here. I'll just do that like off screen so I don't accidentally like leak some random folders that I shouldn't be leaking. Anyhow, here's a pot of Excel folder, so I click select and there you go, it's added. Now we're gonna add my auto hotkey folder. Once again I'll put it over here. see where is my ah, here it is press your auto hotkey folder select folder there you go click next now you're gonna want to enter your github api token here uh yeah i'm you know what i am gonna do it and i'll just like blur it in the actual video let me go let me go find it real fast so this is where you'll probably see a cut in the video ah, you enter your github token now, you can select some things after this. First, it's gonna check if you have a valid token. It is valid. Note, if I remove a character, it instantly turns invalid. Now it uh, will show valid again. So here you can set some flags. Please keep this enabled, enable GitHub API. If you disable it, you will not receive any updates. Show update notes after an update. I mean, some people will probably find them annoying, so there is that. Also, let me close that. There's no reason to have that open. If you use the Steam version of Pot of Excel, I will I highly recommend you click this one because then it will actually like go through Steam to launch it. It's a bit simpler, and you don't have to add the whole folder for it. This, if you like it, you can enable it. I personally don't like it. Also, if you don't know how to get a GitHub API token, I have this website. If you click on this, it will open your browser and it will give you a nice little tutorial on how to do it. So I no longer have to do it myself. And yeah, click next. It's gonna check for updates. And it's gonna download add-ons from the repository. And then it will be done. Well, here we have our new add-ons screen. It looks really fancy. I'm proud of <laughs> I'm really proud. Now, if you don't know what an add-on is, which is like the major complaint I had in the original version, now you can click info and you will get a little info page. And it will work for every single add-on. Pretty cool. So if you've decided you wanted to download something, once again, first off, go into the settings here and make sure you have set all of these things. Also, I just showed my GitHub API token again, so we're gonna have to edit that. You can still add your custom HK scripts. If you don't have it installed, you can just click this and it will download the installer for you. You can set your folders here, all of that cool stuff. Uh, here's my sellout page where you can like visit my stuff. If you click this, it will show the update notes in case you like missed it or you want to read them. It also helps you to find out what version you're on. Anyhow, after you've set all of those things, you can download some add-ons. So let's do that. There you go, it will start downloading stuff. Uh, I'll just click this. Note, if you want to click this one away, just click with your left mouse button and it will instantly bring you to the downloads page. Now you have your glorious add-ons here. But PAL won't launch your add-ons just yet. You will have to actually enable them. You do this by clicking on the add-on, then click Edit Configuration, Run Add-on when launching PoE. And here you can set a bunch of extra commands. If you don't know what it is, don't change it. And you're gonna wanna do this for everything you want to launch when you launch PoE. Or if you don't, if you don't wanna do it and you just wanna launch everything yourself, just double click it and it will open it for you. Simple as that. Now, if you don't like an add-on, just click on remove add-on and there it is, it's gone. 
Also note this thing I have not implemented it yet, but it will show whether uh, ad an add-on has been approved by GGG. But it's not implemented yet, so whatever. And yeah, this should help everyone know how to use this add-on. And once you actually want to launch PoE, just click launch PoE. Just make sure you've set your folders like this one. And then in general settings, if you're not using Steam, make sure one of these is selected so that it actually knows what to launch. And that should be everything. And yet again, I get to black out my GitHub token. And yeah, hope you have a lot of fun with uh, Pile 2. Let me know if it breaks because it's probably going to break for some people at some point. Goodbye. Okay,